Palm with no wick, so we're gonna enter now and take a bite. But it's risky, look what happened here. This candle had no wick, but the snake kind of went down. You know, there was a probability. Now you have to, so if you're looking for buys, you need to wait for a candle to come bullish. But you can't even take a sell here because you're at this, this very strong um, resistance turned support, you know, so you can't even take a sell because the next candle can just move up or next candle can just move down. But if the next candle moves down below this area, let's say, uh, where's my arrow? Yeah, below this area, then you know, okay, we're probably going to move down over here. Right? Destination. So we're going to wait to see how this candle comes. There we go. We have this weak bearish candle. What do we do? So these now, you have to understand, these are 30 minute candles, right? These are 30 minute candles, man. So you're waiting. So, so what did you do? You waited, um, you waited 30 minutes. You waited another 30 minutes, one hour. You waited one hour and then you waited another 30 minutes one and a half hour you wait you waited one and a half hour and all you see is this bullshit mini bullish candle like this means nothing this is right off look price opened over here and it closed over here this is nothing see so so now again you're waiting you're waiting to see what's happening now. right let's wait and see what happens oh, nice now you have to the bullish candle on right so probably you can say okay you know what the bullish candle is farming, so maybe I want to wait for the next candle to come up. Right? Or if you are really taking, um, if you're really taking fancy, you're probably thinking, okay, maybe I'm gonna take some stock loss down over there. Or you're gonna wait for a little and maybe we put stops at break even because we identified that okay price is moving into uh, this resistance area which is where it might have issues right so you put profits you put profits at break even and you let it run let's see what happens see you this is a golden trade now all because you waited for confirmations you waited for price to form some sort of a support, you waited for price to form some sort of a, a bullish candle so you know where your stop loss is going to be. Because once you have a bearish candle, you don't know where your stop loss is going to be. So it'll be down over here, fuck that, that's a big stop loss. Okay? So you want a bullish candle to form, you can say, okay, I'm going to have a stop loss down over here, man, because, you know, probability dictates that once bullish candles are formed on the 30 minute or the one hour, there's a higher chance it's going to continue. And then see what happens, and then you know, like whatever, and then you got stopped out or whatever. And then now, when you look left, you see the price came down to the same area, created this doji, created this bullish candle. So, like you know, and then when you try to take a buy over here, what happened? You got stopped because you overtraded, right? And then you turn on the door, oh, hey man, why did you get stopped out? And then the answer you're gonna get is, well, you take one trade. One trade a day keeps us this way. So you took this trade in New York, London overlap, and then you tried to take another trade after London closed when the volume is dying, and what happened? Your trade died with it. <laughs> okay. So um, hope this was um, hope this helped some people because you know I tried to keep it as simple as possible.
So, uh, I'm gonna... Alright, this is Ted, okay, Ted, this is I'm, I'm here. Okay, awesome. Man, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, Rico. It's like you know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs>